welcome you to Stadium Park in America's friendliest city for the Autoville Bank Delphi St. John's warm up show. Andy Lynch with Todd Schulte. Still to come, we'll have five Delphi St. John's football players alongside Mark Kuntz. But, coach, 17th season you're entering. Do you look back on 1999 and how it all started often, or is that just a distant memory? Uh, no, you know, yeah, it's a distant memory, but uh, good, fond memories. And uh, hopefully every year we've got a little bit better as a coach. And, um, maintain the program that we have and always trying to strive to get better. But yeah, 17 years went pretty fast. It's been, been a good time and uh, work with good kids and good people here and our coaching staff. So that always makes it a blessing. You know, talking about that coaching staff, a lot of times head coaches like yourself, the ones getting interviewed on the radio, TV, newspaper, but those assistant coaches put in so much time, just like yourself. How big is that staff and the effort that they put in? Well, it's, it's huge, you know, and I, and I always tell people I, I, I'm fortunate enough to get the wins that go in front of my name. And, you know, obviously there's some losses that go along with that as well. But the guys behind the scene, that are, our staff, what they do, what people don't see what they do on a weekend to get us prepared and ready to go for the next week. Um, you know, here at practice, here early, stay late. Um, it's, you know, it's sometimes it's a thankless job that they're doing. And, you know, we've had some guys that have been around for quite some time. Steve Recker is approaching uh, 30 years in coaching. And, um, you know, he's one of those staples to our program that uh, uh, keeps us going in the right direction. Uh, we got Dan Metzger, who's been around here for a long time since, I think, since he graduated from St. John's. He came, <laughs> turned right around and started coaching again. He's getting close to 20 years. Uh, you know, so there's just guys that have been around, and they're, 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 they're Blue Jays. There's, there's some connection to St. John's. They had with their son here. They might not have played here, but now their son goes here. Um, it's just it's a, it's a really nice uh, uh, staff that we have. And, again, you know, they work hard, and they, 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 they respect our kids. Our kids respect them, and I think that's a big thing at the end of the day. Talked about the tradition, seventh straight year in the playoffs last year, four-win season. Obviously, you, you strive for better, but getting in the playoffs that helps some momentum going into this year. Oh, definitely. You know, and that that was the goal. You know, we wanted to be able there week eleven, be able to go play again and have another week of football. And unfortunately, it didn't go well for us week eleven. But uh, you know, we were able to get into the playoffs. And again, it was another week of practice, another week of of hopefully developing, and that's stuff you can you can carry over to the next season. Tell us about this year's team. A, a lot of youth to it, but seven seniors that'll be leading the team. Yeah, we have seven seniors this year and, and again um, you know in the competition we play you know it, that says that we've got a little bit of a youth movement coming so uh, and, and and the guys that we see we know we're going to line up pre pre predominantly with juniors and seniors so you know we're going to have to rely on those seven seniors to, to play bigger than the seven seniors that they are and and to be good leaders but uh, you know we also know that uh, we got some guys coming that uh, will fit right in with those guys and you know, with uh, hard work in two-a-days and preparation through our scrimmages, hopefully we continue to prove and find guys that can play positions no matter what grade they're in and put the best 11 field on a Friday night and, and go from there. A lot of question marks here just a couple weeks in, in or a couple days, I should say, into practice, a lot of position battles? Uh, yeah, you know, we're going to have positions for battles. Uh, there, there's no doubt there. And, you know, like I said, and, and like we talk with the kids, every day at practice we want to get better. That's the goal is we're getting better. Uh, if we made a mistake uh, the, yesterday, let's let's try to improve on it today and maybe not repeat that mistake as many times, maybe once, and, and get it right and move on and keep doing it the right way. Uh, so, you know, you, and that's, that's the big thing. And, you know, at the end of the day, and as we well know and our kids know, that at the end of the day we're, we're going to put the best 11 on defense and offense and special teams. And, you know, the, the goal for us is to win football games. You know, we want to we get better as football players all over and be better young men at the end of the day. But, you know, we also want to win f football games on a Friday night. No question about it. And all Friday nights this year, no Saturdays on the St. John's schedule for the first time in, in recent memory, really. Yeah, and that's, that, that's good. We, we like those Friday games. <laughs> sure. You know, we, we've had enough Saturdays where we, we're pretty accustomed to it as well. Uh, uh, so, yeah, a lot of Fridays, and that's, yeah, it's a good thing. It's, it, it makes your uh, weekend just a, a touch longer, so that's always nice. <laughs> that's right, and extra day to prepare, I guess, sure. for the next yes. week uh, coming up. Delphi St. John's will open the season with Bath, that four-team Allen County rivalry last year. Uh, last two years was Elida, and now Bath uh, is the opener. A little switch, but, but certainly nice to have another close opponent. Yeah, it is nice. You know, um, you, it, it's nice everything from going and scouting to an opponent to, <laughs> to travel. We'll be traveling over to Lima Bass, so that's nice. We're not going somewhere on a bus for an hour and a half, two hours, so all that's nice. And I think it's, you know, we've been with Elida, and then week two is LCC. It's all it's all local area teams, so there's a, I think there's a little more excitement to it. Uh, seem to generate a little bit bigger crowds, and, you know, we got the uh, close proximity between the two schools. So, yeah, I mean, it just makes for exciting uh, week one opener that you kind of look forward to through two days. We're really in an interesting era of, of sports in general when you talk about AU teams for basketball, seven on sevens for football, the, the the tournaments that we see going. There's national tournaments, all this stuff, and yet you 
you, you like just coaching your team. You like having those camps during the summer with your team. Just kind of take us through your perspective on that. Yeah, you know, we, we do our we do our 10 contact days. Six of those are actually just team camps for us here. We're, we're you know, we're out on the practice field uh, putting in offense, defense, uh, just doing our stuff, coaching our kids. And then uh, we'll have four seven on sevens where, you know, predominantly we have teams come in here and it's it's not a uh, huge competition. Uh, there, you know, there, there's competition going on between the two teams, but, uh, you know, we want to be able to stop, line up, set, you know, coach through everything. We don't want to be in a big hurry. You know, we've done some tournaments in the past, but we just prefer where we can take it at our own pace and make it more of a learning and a coaching tool for the kids and the coaches. Offense going to be the usual Blue Jay offense this year? Well, you know, last year we didn't go under center one time, so that, that's odd for the Blue Jays, right. and that's probably going to be uh, what we're looking at going into this season. Uh, you know, still uh, looking to run a bunch of option and, and, and do some things where we're not, uh, you know, the, the old days where we're going two tight ends and two backs and <laughs> turn around and hand it off, and everybody brother knows where that's gone. You know, we, we, we've steered away from some of that a little bit uh, just to fit our personnel and where we're at. Defensively, how are things looking? Uh, defensively, you know, again, we, we made a wholesale change last year, going to a three-man front. We'll continue with that, and um, even as a coaching staff, we feel so much better with it this year. Just a, a year under our belt with a brand new defense. You know, we know some of the adjustments and the things we've had to uh, tinker with a little bit in the off season to to improve us as a defense. So we feel we feel a whole lot better going in this year into two days installing that defense and everything that goes with it. So we're pretty excited about it. Finally, just take us take a look at the MAC. You know, I'm sure you're keeping an eye on who's back sure. and those types of things. Defending champs left and right. Uh, yep. Three three coming back. What do you think? Uh, how's it looking? Yeah, yeah. You, know, you talk about our league. There's there's three state <laughs> champions uh, there again, and I guess I guess it's really nothing new. There's two or three every year it seems like, and that. You know, I'm proud of our for our sure. fellow league teams to be able to do that, and that's that makes you feel good to be in this league. Um, but also on a Friday night, it sometimes don't make you feel so good either because you know what's coming. It's um, every Friday night is going to be, uh, you know, you get you got to buckle up and you got to play really good football to be even in the game, and uh, sometimes do some special things to win those games. So you know, I, I take a look at our league, and you got to start uh, at Marion Local again and um, put cold water right up there. Uh, you know, Minster being a state champ, you know, they got their quarterback coming back. And, and be honest with you, I thought he was one of the better ones in the league last year. So I guess that's uh, good for them, not so good for everybody else in the league. And then, you know, I also think you got to talk about Fort Recovery. You know, they had a great year last year, and I think that momentum and the excitement they've generated, they're just going to be, uh, you know, moving on with that. Um, and, and I think there's just going to be a lot of teams in the middle of that pack that are very competitive. All right. We're, we're excited. We're ready for football. You can see Coach, he's getting excited just to get back out there. This Autoville Bank pigskin preview, the warm-up here in Delphi St. John's will continue as Mark Kuntz joins five of the players next here on WSN. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Ottaville Bank. I'm Mark Koontz. As we continue talking Blue Jay football, joined now by Jesse Ditto, James Bittner, and Evan Moeller, three of the seniors on this year's Blue Jay team. And Jesse, last year, not necessarily the best year. A lot of teams would love to go to the playoffs. But you guys have went to the playoffs, lost that first playoff game, finished the season with three straight shutouts. Did that leave a bitter taste in the Blue Jays' mouth? I mean, yeah. I mean, we're expecting a lot more than that because we're – Duff St. John's, and we're, that's how we normally play. So, yeah. James, is that a wake-up call? Was that a wake-up call for the Blue Jays? That the, the work you guys needed to put in over the the off season to get ready for your senior year? Yeah, you know, it kind of like put a chip on your shoulder, having like three tough losses at the, right at the end of the season. But I guess it's just something that will push us harder uh, to work more this season. Evan, what are some of the ways you guys have worked harder going into this year? We've really worked hard in the off season in the weight room, and then. Going into team camp, we really put everything out on the field, and we just have to make everything count this year. Evan, what was the highlight of the summer for you guys? Uh, the highlight of the summer was probably getting up early in the morning and going to the agilities. That's always the most fun. Get to go out on the field and get dirty and just work your hardest. James, as you get ready for your senior year, what do you think the strength of this year's St. John's team is going to be? You know... I think it could be our defense because defense obviously wins the championships and I think we'll have a pretty solid defense this year. Jesse, what, what do you guys need to work on the most between now and that opener against Bath? Um, I mean, everything starts with the line and last year we struggled with the line a lot. So, I mean, I think we should be able to uh, dominate this year on the line and uh, take care of business. 
All right, St. John's Blue Jays looking to dominate on the line. We're going to take a break on the warm-up presented by the Audible Bank. We'll come back more from St. John's from WS. Welcome back to the warm-up as we are joined by Jordan Moeller and Trent Clawson. And Trent, we just heard from some of your compatriots on the line. They think the line's going to be one of the strengths this year. Why do you think the line's going to be a strength this year? This year, uh, I think we have a lot more focus, a lot more desire to do, achieve greatness, to give it everything we have. And more, yeah, like I said before, more of a desire. Jordan, we know tradition doesn't win games, but tradition can certainly inspire. How has the tradition of St. John's inspired this senior class? Well, when you look back, we won a lot of state championships, so I just always just wanted to be one of them. As you look forward to this season, opening up against Bath, LCC, then you get into the heart of the MAC schedule right away. There, there aren't any easy games on your schedule this year, is there? No, not exactly. Trent, you look at this schedule, what, uh, what games stick out to you as the ones that you need to win, starting obviously with Bath in week one, but other than that one? Mm. Can't say any one for, for sure. Definitely probably towards the begin, uh, beginning of the season, so that way we get, a, get the uh, momentum from the season, get a momentum in the season, get the confidence and the and like oh, the happiness for the game and so, to keep on going in, throughout the season. Obviously, you guys are seniors. You've played in several places. Is, is Stadium Park a, a special place to play? Oh, definitely. We've grown up here. We've come up, come up to this park for years and upon years. In our teens, as a child, anywhere around this park, it's really, really something special to come here and be in front of everyone on, under the lights. I'd say, Jordan, that you know we've seen the community reinvest in Stadium Park the last couple of years and really has made a difference with this facility. I really have. I really like the uh, turf on the sidelines. Before, it always got really muddy. I didn't like that. What do you guys need to work on the most between now and that first week? I think uh, determination. Sometimes they just get a little uh, loose. A little loony, I guess. <laughs> Trent, as you go into the heart of training camp, how do you combat the looniness? How do you, how do you keep you guys focused? As, as a senior leader, is that part of your job to, to make sure everybody's ready to go each and every practice? Well, as a senior, I don't want to say that we are uh, have to crack whips in order to get everyone in line, but sometimes you have to raise your voice, you know, come on, focus, guys. And then after that, it's not too hard to get everyone back on pace, back in line. And but it keeps the, but the, as he said, the looniness keeps the practice fun, keeps it, keeps it energetic. Well, St. John's Blue Jays hoping the looniness takes them back to the postseason for an eighth straight year. That's going to wrap it up tonight on the warm-up. I want to thank all of our guests. For Andy Lynch, I'm Mark Kutz. We'll see you next time on WSN.